Good morning, Oman. In today's lecture, we will be discussing some of the devices used to find pressure. The first device is barometer. A barometer is a device used to find the atmospheric pressure. Uh, a barometer consists of a mercury. The fluid used in barometer is mercury. We have to remember that. And uh, this part is this part uh, is vacuum. The formula used to uh, find the pressure is rho g h. Rho is the density, g is the gravitational acceleration, and h is the liquid height. All right. The next device is the manometer. The manometer measures the pressure acting on a column of fluid. It is made from a U-shaped tube of liquid in which the difference in pressure acting on the two straight sections of the tube causes the liquids to reach different heights in the two arms. In a manometer, there are two kinds of pressure. One is the gas pressure and one is the atmospheric pressure. These two pressures cause the column to go up or down. All right, now we'll uh, we'll be solving an example. A manometer is filled with mercury, is connected to a gas supply at one end, this end, and is open to the atmosphere at the other end. That's this one. The mercury rises by 12 centimeter. Calculate the pressure of the gas. All right. What you need to know is. In order for us to calculate the gas pressure, we need atmospheric pressure and the mercury pressure. These two basically. Uh, in order for us to find the gas pressure, we need atmospheric pressure. This and from here till here, the mercury pressure. All right. Uh, the atmospheric pressure is standard. Uh, it's given. Uh, it's 101325 newton per meter square you can directly put that in the equation and now we need to find the mercury pressure how how do we find it we use the formula uh, rho g h pressure equals to rho g h in which the rho is the density of the mercury which is also given you just put this value uh, g is 10 and h uh, is 0 0.12 meters this is given in centimeters so you need to change it into si units and so you will be getting this answer all right now you just have to add the atmospheric pressure with the mercury pressure and you will get the final answer all right i need you to uh, solve this question on your own thank you